all the work out that I did on my day. I'll put it on camera. shoulder press, and then we're gonna get into some push-ups, or well, not push-ups, sorry, because that's the up-down, my bad. And then we're gonna get into some, so, to some chest press on the floor with the band. Now, we're gonna do about a two to three minute warm-up set, but please, if you will, make sure you stretch really good before you do this exercise. Like, stretch your arms, your legs, your back, your toes, everything, stretch it all. Like, I shouldn't have to tell you how to stretch. Everybody took a regular PE class between elementary, middle school, and high school. So get your stretch on. So this is gonna be an exercise set of um, about five, four or five workouts, maybe six. I, you'll see when we get through the video. I'm a little scramble brain this morning because I did it yesterday and I can't remember everything that I've done, you know, in a specific order because uh, I was trying to record it yesterday, but it did start raining, so I didn't get to, and I was actually here at the park, but I didn't have my tripod to record, but that's beside the point. Let's get into this workout. Please, if you like this video, please subscribe, share, comment on this video, because there's gonna be more bangers to come for you. Like, I promise you that. So if you're a beginner, if you're an immediate, intermediate workout person and or you advance, let's get these games, baby. Let's get started. Let's go, let's oh, go, let's go. Excuse me if I sound a little off. I got my night card in. But right now, we're going to start with a warm-up set. We're doing about 30 to 45 seconds worth of jumping jacks just to get the blood circulating in the body, get that oxygen level going, get that um, oxygen flowing throughout the muscles and the limbs, and just keep in mind that um, stretch. Stretching is very important prior to and immediately after any exercise. Um, so we're going to be jumping, 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 jumping. Jumping. When it comes to working out, uh, when you're doing body weight exercises, the warm up doesn't have to be super invasive. You just kind of want to get again that blood seconds. circulating. So now we're going to drop down to the floor. We got the mat here and we're going to get into some floor jacks. So you're in a plank position and you're just going to in and out just like you would like standing up. But this is going to more so stabilize and working on it. It's going to uh, work on your core as well and kind of help build up your body strength just a little bit because you're having to hold yourself up and you are doing this uh, form of a jumping jack, but in a prone position. Now, whew, I was tired a little bit. It was hot and I was in the shade. It was really hot already. And it was about 10 o'clock in the morning. Lastly, we're going to run into some mountain climbers here. All of these exercises that I've done thus far have been between 30 to 45 seconds. More on the 45 second realm when it comes to these uh, warm up uh, sets here at this time. So the reason I chose these was because they weren't too invasive and they were pretty basic when it comes to uh, getting that warm up in. Just to get the heart going. Now here, we're gonna be doing some lateral raises or shoulder raises with the band. So you wanna kind of keep the band placed on the on your hip centrally located and give it a little slack on whichever side you're gonna be um, starting with. Now, when it comes to the lateral raises, you wanna make sure that you're lifting your arm to shoulder height. You don't wanna overexert and go above that 90 degree angle 
Um, you can if you want, but to really target like the chest muscles and your shoulders is best to stop at 90 degrees shoulder width, shoulder height, excuse me. So we're doing this on both sides. So now I did about 12 on each side for this workout. Now, if you do have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells as well. But if not, you can always use the resistance bands. Uh, hence, this is what I'm utilizing at this time. The uh, resistance band that I'm using is a medium. Um, I'm a little bit more advanced. So I just use the one that's a little bit heavier than like a light, a light uh, band. Now, again, you want to do place the same emphasis on your um, my muscle connection and stopping shoulder height. So now we're going to get into. I just want you to see what it looks like from behind. So I do re I record a separate segment of it from behind, so you can see that I'm going just shoulder height, and you can see where the muscles are are contracting from on the back sorry i have to wear two bras i'm a little extra up top and a little less uh down under if that makes sense to some of you most of my ladies will understand what that means so i do have to wear two sports bras unfortunately so this is just the other side so you can see and you can see the muscles and where they're contracting from now here you got to mentally prepare and we're dropping down into tricep dips. Now, this is the beginner version where you have your knees bent. So I did half, I did six, six dips uh, with my knees bent. And then now we're gonna extend our legs out right here. And this is gonna be for your more advanced. Um, and I just did six here. So these exercises are about um, you can do 8 to 12 on each side or with the tricep dips, 8 to 12, whatever your body entails. Now here, this one is a little tricky. This is an up-down motion. So you're in a push-up position, but you're working um, your back and your chest. The point of going up and down, I really just thought of that on my own as far as it kind of gives you a little cardio as well as um a upper body a strength a, a strength exercise a push exercise so i did about up down is one so starting from the down position up once you hit the up you're on one down two when you start again so up down is one and i counted and i did 12 reps for this as well um, but again, if you're a beginner, take your time. You could do eight. If you can't do that, do six. But it's all about building up the core and building up your upper body strength. And it kind of works on your core as well because it is a push-up push position as well. Now, this exercise that we're about to do next is going to be shoulder press. Now, this one is a little different just because it is with this um, band now here i do have the band a little too low but it does need to go kind of either right on your traps in the your, your shoulder blades in the back and or right under it so you can kind of see that the band did move up as i turned around and you just press up and come back down to shoulder height you don't have to press or come all the way back down to your sides now granted with this exercise as well the band may move on your back but it won't bother it won't be bothersome and you will really feel this in your shoulders and again with this exercise we do about 8 to 12 the next exercise that we're going into now is going to be the chest press so the chest press i'll show you a different angle of that one in a latter part of the video but you're going to again put the band on your back as i'm doing here and then you're gonna kind of adjust it right there, kind of on under, like either right on your traps or right under them. Cause when you lay it down, you're gonna, your, your body weight is gonna be on it. So you need to adjust the resistance band in your hand to what's comfortable for you and where you feel the most resistance. So you can have that mind muscle connection where meaning mind muscle connection where you feel it in the respected muscles that you're trying to work 
and here again 10 to 12 um, or if you could do 15 you could do 15 whatever you feel comfortable with um, in doing so of this exercise and now the next exercise we have here at this time is going to be some um, this one I just made up this at the time of the recording this not was not a part of the workout yesterday but now this is going to be like a bend over row with the band and what you want to do is you want to extend your arms out but you want to drive your your shoulders straight back drive your shoulders straight back and I will put a different angle so you can see um what it looks like uh from a different angle or a little bit closer up but driving them straight back again we're working 10 to 12 sets and this is going to be working on your back muscles and it's going to be in your traps so this exercise by this time this is burning and now we're done with that and now we're going to finish this exercise off with a 30 30 jumping jacks I like to always again begin my exercises with some form of cardio and end with some form of cardio because now when I go into that rest mode when it's time to start again my body is not fully at rest it's still circulating and keeping that oxygen and oxygen and blood flowing throughout the muscles so that way on the cool down for about a minute until I jump into the next exercise um I will be still warmed up and warm and ready now Right, y'all so that was the quick impromptu video um there's a lot more uh, there's a lot more exercises that i can teach you guys with the banded exercises for your upper body strength so these are just some basic ones that i came up with yesterday off the top of my head i had my client slash friend that uh, I trained with, and we had to kind of go with the flow because again, the weather was so shaky. It was raining, it was not raining, it was a lot happening. So this is a workout that I came up with. And again, you can run through this set, these exercises about four times over um, as four, four different sets. I always begin my sets with some kind of cardio just to give the heart that good constant blood flow and that oxygen uh, that it needs to like be able to perform the exercises properly. So um, I always either start with jumping jacks, mountain climbers, burpees, high knees, um, star jumps, just something to start the round and to end it. So the warm up in the beginning was like just three different body movements, about two minutes just to warm your body up because of the fact that it's um, more so of a body strength workout. You don't have to necessarily warm up for that 10, 15 minutes that some people say three to five, two to five is just enough just to get the blood flowing and the circulation um, alongside the stretches. So if you stretch it beforehand and then get into like a two to five minute warm up just to get the body flowing, you'll be good. Limbs and muscles will be, be relaxed and ready to kill that workout. So I'm gonna try to give you a few different angles of that last exercise and then the, the um, chest press and I'm gonna try to incorporate that in like a picture on picture so you can see like the variations of a little bit of a more close up. So again, I hope y'all like this video. Please, please like, comment, subscribe, share, drop comments on what you may be interested in seeing. I'm new to the YouTube game. I'm trying to get more consistent and get better at it. If you have not, check out my B12 injection um, uh, series that I'm doing. I've got two videos up. I'm going to get ready to upload my third one this upcoming week. I get my third shot on Saturday. So stay tuned and uh, look for these results to see what happens. But thank you. Until next time, peace. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to come back to you real quick with this a uh, little bit of a, more of a close-up on the chest press exercise with the band. So as you can see me placing the band on my back, it's like right under my traps. And I move, see, right under my traps. Um, and then so you sit on the band. Obviously, your body weight 
is going to hold it down where it won't move. Now, I am adjusting it in my hand again, as I mentioned, so that way I can have that more of that mind muscle connection um, because I didn't feel the resistance on the first press. So this is just a little quick run through of that. And then we're going to move on to the next exercise. So 10 to 12, and you can always use dumbbells if you would like. Now we're pushing into those uh, bend over row with the band, if you want to call it a bend over row. So basically, this is an angle so you can see how my elbows come straight back. Straight back. And that's all you do down and back. Down and back. Knees slightly bent. Down and back. And you should really feel this in your traps. Um, when it comes to that. 